it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. It is 6 a.m. on Friday, October 15th here on the West Coast. Do I have dog hair on my hat? Absolutely. Did I try to put some mascara and concealer on to look alive for this video? For you, I tried. <laughs> I have my coffee right here, and the reason that we are awake a little bit earlier today is that the Animal Crossing Direct is finally airing in just about an hour. I am so excited to see what is in store for us. Let me know in the comments if any of y'all had dreams about this Animal Crossing Direct. I know that sounds crazy, but last night, I kid you not, I had a dream that I was at this convention of sorts, and it was specifically for the Animal Crossing Direct, but the trick was you still had to watch it on your laptop, even though was a convention. Other things my dream had is that the only really notable item we got were these fences made out of popsicles. <laughs> and they didn't even mention Brewster, which was uh, hilarious. So let's hope that the actual direct is a little bit more exciting than what my subconscious apparently thinks we have in store. If you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? My name is Katie. I'm so glad to have you here. I put out Animal Crossing videos every single Wednesday and Friday. With that said, I am gonna make a quick coffee refill and then and I'm gonna hop back on and do a live reaction to the direct. See you guys in a second. All right, here we are. It is currently 6.58 and 26 seconds. So we are very, very close to the actual launch of the Animal Crossing Direct. Also, this direct is 20 minutes long, which in my opinion, that is more than enough time to cover some really, really exciting updates for a game that has already been around for two years. I have no idea what to expect, except for the roost, obviously. We know that's on the horizon for us. I'm hoping we get some quality of life updates. I'm hoping we get some new villagers. Maybe we'll get those popsicle fences. I don't know, time will tell. Also, look at how cute my mug is, not to plug my own merch, but also to plug my own merch. It is Bo in the sink that I'm obsessed with. So cute. You. <gasps> Thank you for tuning in to the Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct. You're welcome. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope there's a lot of updates. Okay, that's early November. Fine by me. New spots, new encounters. So here's Brewster and the Roost. We knew this was coming. <gasps> Do we get to see the inside? Yay! Okay, let's see. A cafe owned by the composed Brewster. Look at him, what a cutie. Oh, Isabel can join us. Oh, she finally gets a coffee break, thank God. <laughs> yeah, she deserves it. <laughs> you can invite characters of your choosing. Are you saying I can have coffee with Bo? <gasps> oh my goodness, that's so fun. So similar to Harv's Island, how you can invite villagers. We can invite our villagers and other NPCs to have coffee with us. That's precious. <gasps> Captain! Oh my gosh, another NPC. Oh, what a cutie. By his sea shanties. Sing to me, Captain. Is a hidden gem that only <gasps> Look at those bushes. Those are different bushes, right? What what are these? Those are different plants. Or time of day. Oh, that's cool. So you could visit Winter Islands when it's summer in your hemisphere. Amazing. Looks like made a plaza with all sorts of shops. With a little help from his longtime friend Harriet. Harriet! And look, there's gyroids too. Some bells to the cause. Oh, that's Lloyd, I see. Familiar island visitors like Sahara and Kix will set up shop here. That is precious. <gasps> and Leaf has his own little plant shop too. Y'all, we are three minutes into this direct and I'm already blown away. Oh, this is amazing. We can finally customize Nook Miles items. And Katrina and Tortimer. We're getting every single NPC that has been missing from this game, essentially. This is wild. Oh yes, we're gonna get a new look, honey. This is a big direct. Group stretching like yoga. I see, so you can use the Joy-Cons and the movement sensors to actually stretch with them. That's pretty cute. All right, not gonna lie, this is silly, but I think it's really sweet. <laughs> Ooh, ordinances. Early bird, night owl, bell boom ordinance. Love that. <gasps> oh, that's so handy. So if you're an early riser, you can play with villagers early on. Amazing. More exterior options are available. You can modify your home's exterior to match your island's landscape. Also, storage expansion services just got bigger. I'm sorry, this is so much better than I was expecting. 5,000? 5, That's over double than what we have. Whoa. 
Whoa, quality of life is... Phew. Be a chef? <gasps> tomatoes? Is that wheat? And potatoes? And carrots? I'm... I've never been so happy to wake up early in my life. Oh, love that. That's fun. Ceiling hanging items? Oh, cool. Okay, this is going above and beyond anything I expected. I am blown away, and we are only six minutes into the direct. <gasps> Shut. Oh my gosh, I almost fell over. <laughs> <laughs> Ten? That's two additional. Fencing, block fencing, and corrugated iron fencing will be added, letting you and large ladders. Even more. Can we customize them? Some fencing can be customized too. Shut up! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> when changing to a handheld camera mode, the view aligns with your eye level. They're giving us everything and more. So you can use all of the Able Sisters custom designs they give you on your clothing and on walls. Additionally, you'll be able to acquire more furniture by redeeming your Nook Miles. Oh my gosh, look at these carnival items! Oh, I need to go make the county fair again, don't I? It connects to your home storage and can be placed almost anywhere on your island. Oh, that's so handy for decorating. You can just make it portable. A traveling ABD. Brilliant. For 12 more, hits, like KK more KK songs! You can even enjoy them from this gorgeous sounding music box. A new Love that item. That's a cute item right there. Look at this hairstyle. I'm obsessed. It's a gyroid. A squeezoid, if you will. Oh my gosh, there is so much coming to this game. Wow, 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 wow. I am so blown away, you guys. I don't know what to say. <laughs> You'll be able to permanently place ladders on cliffs with the ladder setup kit. Ooh, that's handy. Permanently placed ladders? That's a huge quality of life thing, especially for this girl in Island Tours. Wow, that is so nice. So you don't have to place a sign of a ladder or something to indicate like, hey, go up here. It's just there. Amazing. Now you can walk through them like this. Ooh, that's nice. So you don't get stuck. With the other residents. <gasps> Tell me more. They can finally come to our house. Oh, Bo can come over. What do you think? Um, I'm, I'm thinking a lot. This free update, version two New villagers. Look at them. All of it? Are we getting all of this on November 5th? This will be the last major free content update for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Major free content update. Wow. Wow. Bravo, Nintendo and Animal Crossing team. I am blown away. I want to go to work. Oh, this might be a paid DLC. If that was the last free, is this work thing a paid DLC? Paid DLC is a happy home. Wait, no. Happy Home Paradise is a paid DLC. Had a feeling this was coming. Oh, my goodness. Who is this cute little guy on the left? Help make their dreams come true. And you get to make their dream home. Okay, I'm loving this. This is giving us so much more gameplay right away. Oh, I love that you can actually decorate your villagers' homes, at least in this paid DLC. You know what I mean. Look at this ranch furniture. Ooh, that's cute. I wonder if that furniture is a part of the paid DLC or if it's a part of the free update. Oh my gosh, that is handy. So you can decorate outside without actually doing the motions of planting trees and placing fencing. You can decorate it very, very similarly to how you would an interior. Amazing. How sweet is that? Okay, I love it. I'll take my money. Ooh, I love that. We've always been using like rock climbing walls and stuff. Now, I wonder if these items, if we buy the paid DLC, if we can use it in our base game, if you will. Because that's amazing. This is incredible. How cute is that? Look at this plant shop, too. It's beautiful. 
6,000 pokey? What is pokey? Love that. So we have the option to purchase different kind of furniture on this island job situation as opposed to our own. Very cool. Love that sofa. Simple sofa. That's giving me some Sims vibes in a good way. You can help Lottie design these as well to make the island even more robust. Take schools, for example. What? You can make a school? That's fun. So you can make like a farmer's market, a mall, a school, library. So cool. This is wild. Look at how cute Shino or Shino is. I'm loving these new villagers that they're just skimming over. <laughs> That's so fun. So we can essentially have additional villagers, if you will, but they're going to be on these vacation homes and vacation islands. Oh, I love that you can do it for NPCs too. So cute. Perfect. That's exactly what I was wondering. So we can use that furniture and everything here. I'm sold. Take my money. <gasps> Ooh. That's exciting. So we finally have the opportunity through this paid DLC to unlock customizing our villagers' homes. That is awesome. The roommate situation is super cute too. Look at that little bunny. Okay, so it's $25 USD. I feel like that's totally reasonable. I, you know, it's not another $70 or however much the base game is. Cute. So we're finally getting tons of new characters via Amiibos, like all the new ones. <gasps> Roswell, Fret, Ace, Marlo, he's cute. Shino, love, love Shino. Wow, so November 5th is a big day. Bravo, bravo. Wow. Wow, where to begin? Um, I am blown away. I was expecting a lot of good stuff, but not nearly to the capacity of what they just told us we're getting. First of all, we're in NPC heaven. We knew we were getting Brewster and the Roost, but we are getting the plethora of NPCs given to us in the game. That's gonna bring so much more gameplay, so much more excitement and opportunity to interact with these other characters. Also, let's just talk about the quality of life updates. I mean, fence customization. Y'all saw I almost flew out out of my chair. We're getting crops we can cook. This is a massive, massive update. And they did say it would be the last free major update, which then leads me into what we also have on the horizon for us. I had a strong, strong feeling that Nintendo knew how big this game was. They knew the demand for content. So a paid DLC totally makes sense in terms of a marketing perspective, especially since the holidays are right around the corner. With that said, $25 and for the amount of gameplay that it looks like we're going to get and be able to use also in the base game version of Animal Crossing New Horizons. I feel like that's totally valid, totally fair. I love the concept that you can create your own partitions. I like that you can finally have the ability to unlock decorating your villagers' homes in the base game. But even in addition to that, there's this whole new game where you can travel to these archipelagos. You can actually play like an interior designer. It's all so, so cool. So yes, you could say I am a happy camper. I am absolutely thrilled for what we were just told. My mind is kind of blown. I think we were like three to five minutes in and I was already so shocked about the amount of detail and the amount of updates that they disclosed to us. There is so much to unpack here. I feel like all update videos regarding this uh, Animal Crossing Direct are just going to be chock full of details that we missed. Like I know that I saw some bushes that were not mentioned. Of course, the new villagers, uh, that's gonna be super exciting and really fun to have new characters introduced to us yet again. All of the new furniture that is going to be available to us as well. And then again, the NPCs like Captain Harriet, all of these amazing characters like Katrina. We're getting the lot and I am so blown away. I truly feel like we're getting a whole additional game on top of the game that we already have. And that's aside from the paid DLC, I'm talking just about the free update. And the fact that we're getting all of this on November 5th, it's, it at least seems that way, which to me is wild. I, I really expected them to kind of sprinkle out all of the 
portions of this update, but this direct alluded that we're getting all of this on November 5th and then pre-order for the Happy Home Paradise, I believe it was called. That is available for pre-order October 29th, which is right around the corner. Wow, I am blown away. I didn't need coffee to wake me up. I just needed this incredible direct to be put in front of my face. I am so excited to see what is in store for what people do with their islands moving forward, the tons amount of gameplay we're going to have. For one, I know I am absolutely going to opt into purchasing the Happy Home Paradise. So if you would like to see a let's play regarding that, let me know. I wanna hear your thoughts, your comments. Um, hopefully you were able to catch the full direct. If you weren't able to, I'm gonna link it in the description box since this video was a little bit more segmented than the actual direct itself. But wow, I am pretty amazed at what Nintendo has pulled off. We were so upset with them back at E3 and they have made up for it times 10. I am giddy. I am so excited. And now I'm officially counting down the days until November 5th. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this direct as much as I did. I have a smile that I cannot get off my face. The fact that Bo can come and visit me now Ugh. and I can have coffee with the love of my life. It's just amazing. All right, y'all, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm sure you guys are just as excited as I am. Let me know what you're most excited for. For me, it's probably the crops. I love farming, the ability to cook with those crops, and then just more interactions with our villagers and the plethora of NPCs and the fence customization. Actually, you know what? I don't have a favorite. I'm excited for it all. What can I say? As per usual, I hope y'all are having an amazing morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in this big old beautiful world of ours, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.